Righto, so the bag's been packed. We've got a very early start tomorrow morning. We're getting the channel crossing from the UK across the continent of Europe. We're gonna belt up to Hamburg in Germany because I'm really keen to check out one of Hitler's flak towers. And then hopefully we'll make it back down to Bremen in time for New Year's Eve. So we finally made it and this has been worth the drive. This is one of Hitler's flak towers. The flak towers were part of Germany's air defense in World War II. They got their name from the big flak guns which were mounted on top of the towers during World War II. The Nazis built a number of these towers around the bigger cities in Germany. Understandably, a few of them were demolished after World War II, but a number of them still remain. This is flak tower number four. Another one can be found in the St. Pauli district, which is in central Hamburg. Unfortunately, we don't have time to see it today. I know of at least one which still remains in Berlin, but it's not quite as big as these guys. There's a couple more in Vienna, Austria, which look quite interesting as well. Unfortunately, time's against us and we need to get in Bremen, hopefully in time for New Year's Eve. Bremen is a beautiful city known for its quaint streets and iconic buildings. And we drove all this way for New Year's Eve only to get here and find out it's pissing down with rain. Fuck! So we did what any self-respecting couple would do. We headed straight to the beer hall and then went to an old person's nightclub. We then went for a semi-drunken stumble through Bremen and we noticed some blurry looking characters gathering by the river. We just knew something was about to happen. Is that thing gonna blow up at the end or what? My home city of Sydney spends over $15 million a year on New Year's Eve fireworks and this was way more fun and dangerous.
Smells a nice quiet night. So next up we're heading to Berlin and checking out some very interesting abandoned properties. I'll be exploring this abandoned US spy station which was erected during the Cold War as a listening station to spy on the Russians. And as Berlin has a number of abandoned properties I'll hopefully be finding a nice quiet place to have a little paint. So make sure you give that subscribe button a nudge and come along for the ride.